okay so you are welcome to this video and in this video i will teach you how to create a color scheme or how to get a color scheme for your next design in case you are wondering what a color scheme is a color scheme is a group of colors maybe two or more that match and it is very important that your colors are well combined because it produces a good and pleasing visual effect so that is why i'm going to teach you today how to get your colors right when next you do a design so for us for me to teach you this you will have to get a color wheel which is here already a color wheel is a circle graph that starts is each primary secondary and tertiary color as well as their respective hue tint tones and shape i would like you to try to know the meaning of the four things i mentioned in the definition i would uh, i advise you to google them out okay so that is that is all for that so how are we going to do it i'm going to take you back to what your teacher taught you maybe in high school college maybe secondary school so we have primary colors secondary colors and tertiary colors which are mixed on a color wheel to produce this effect you are seeing this whole thing like this it's a mix of all the colors i mentioned earlier so how are we going to do it to get a color scheme you will have to know that okay you should know that there are seven color schemes seven color schemes and i told that the color scheme is a group of colors and maybe two or more that match okay so how do you pick these two or more colors that match that is what i'm going to teach you and then there are seven ways so for the first one the first one is monochrome monochromatic as the word sounds mono mono means one right so it's just one choosing just one one like this maybe uh just picking this color this color that we have here just picking it and then trying to work with the hue the tint the tone and the shape so that is a monochromatic scheme and that is how it's created so you can just choose green and have to do with light green you can use it in your design so that is that for monochromatic you can just pick any color here depending on how you want your design to be like so the second one is analogous scheme the analogous scheme is just three colors now if i pick this blue okay let me go back okay let's say i pick this blue and then i pick this i pick this it is an analogous scheme this and this is why when i pick one of the colors and then i pick the two other colors at the side it becomes it becomes an analogous uh, scheme so that is just that for it okay so we are going to the uh, next one which is complementary complementary are just colors that are opposite each other opposite each other like you see here this and this this and this if you check well these colors will match okay so that is how it goes now we have the fourth one which is the split complementary it's just like complementary but not actually so i told you that complementary is this and this right but the split complementary is this this and this you get so you are not going to pick the one that is directly opposite rather you are going to pick the two colors that are op that are 
at the side at the sides of the color that is complementary to the one you picked earlier like this and this so we don't have anything with the middle one that is a split complementary okay um we have a triad 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 as the name sounds is just three colors okay three colors that match and how are they created with the use of triangle just like this yeah Oop, i'm not wrong this is a triangle right yeah this is a triangle a triangle like this i can even do it like this too and still get the same effect so the three colors are the vertexes of this triangle are matching colors so that is just it you can rotate it around and try to pick your color your all your color scheme from it so the next one is the square so instead of drawing instead of drawing this let me use this let me use this let me use this to show you okay let me okay continue now um okay, this is for the square scheme right this is for the square scheme so uh, i'm going to balance this at the middle just so we see it because this circle also is balanced at the middle as you can see the you know this color scheme is not a full one it's just a draft like a small part of the main color wheel and that's why the uh, the square doesn't match so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to rotate it yeah so that is it so the red the yellow let me mark them this 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 whole colors will match when you use them in a design just know how to combine them okay just know how to combine them then lastly we have what is called the rectangle the rectangle is just pretty much something like this much something like this yeah so the colors we have at the edges will match the color at the vertex rather will match so it's as simple as this so when next you are working on uh, your design you should just do this it's as simple as this okay let me run you through the the seven color wheels again i told you about monochrome which is like this just one then i told you about the analogous just picking one and then the ones at the side okay and then there is a complementary the one that is opposite directly opposite this color it matches with that color okay then there's a split complementary which is something similar to this but we are not going to speak pick the one that is di directly opposite it we are going to put the ones at the side of it like this so that is it then there is a triadic scheme the triadic scheme which is just a triangle a triangle and at the vert vertex is the colors there will match then I told you about the the square, which I use square to illustrate. I don't want to go through that process again. Then there's a rectangle. There's a rectangle. So as simple as this. Okay, before I uh, end this video, I'd like to tell you that the best thing to do is just to use three colors in your design. That is the 60, 30, 10 rule 60 30 10 rule 60 plus 30 plus 10 that is 100 right now make one of these colors the dominant color and then the other color uh the second color a little bit 
not dominant then there's just one that is maybe applying to fonts and the rest i just hope you get what i'm trying to say so that is a tip when you want to pick a color for your next design so i hope you learned something i'm sorry for taking you back to your uh <laughs> to your secondary school your high school i know you felt bad right now i'm really sorry for that <laughs>